forward and leg up, down. Now from here, you'll find, uh, yeah. as you step forward, you bring your body right down. Good, give me no space. Even here. And Spartacus, Maximus, Joshicus. This is it. You looked apart. You looked apart. I feel ridiculous. This is legitimate. This is legitimate. Gladiator this is the hero attire. gladiator. This is the, the professional. You've got to choose what he wanted to wear. You've got blood from your previous fights right there. Wow, well, wow, well, wow. Well. That looks like fun, I guess. You're into that? Adventure, <laughs> author, and wilderness educator. Our next guest obviously knows a little bit about survival. He runs the oldest and largest survival school in the country in his new show into the unknown premieres tonight on the discovery channel folks welcome to happy hour josh bernstein john bernstein josh bernstein josh, josh bernstein josh. Got a wrong name there. i know yeah so doctors you. first of all the welcome you know congrats on the new show Thank and you. They set it up for us a little bit you really out there in rome well, that was learning gladiator, to be a gladiator. Well, you know, this uh, yeah it was it's been a fun eight months nine months discovery channel said we want this to be a big series I had an archaeology series, as you know, uh, on another network, and then I said I want to do something big and broad and fun, and so it's Gladiator School next week. It's Noah's Ark, looking for remnants of the flood. Down the line, I go to Africa, looking for elephants on safari. We go to Papua New Guinea, learning about mummies. Go to the Andes, learning about... It's a global pursuit for great mysteries, great adventures. And did I read correctly that your background is in archaeology? I have a degree in anthropology. Anthropology, yeah. okay. Yeah. So, Which is so, close enough. Yeah, close enough. Close enough. <laughs> Definitely. Splitting hairs. So, I mean, this is, I mean, it's fascinating because I see it as, as instead of going to the museum, or in addition to going to the museum, yeah. it really brings to life where you learn a lot, and we learn a lot by you actually doing all this and showing us. It kind of brings the history pages to life. I hope so. That's the goal. Not everyone has the benefit of a network like Discovery behind them, so I get to go to places, bring back stories, and then you can stay in and enjoy me from the comfort of your couch. So, you know, and, and one of the things I love to do, I'm like... I'm sure a lot of women would love enjoy, to do that, Enjoy Josh. the show from enjoy the, the show, of right. your couch. So, you know, and speaking of enjoying shows, I, I, I even when I watch, like, Rome or something, I, I picture what it would be like if I were living in those days. Would I be a warrior? What would I be, a gladiator? Yeah. What would you find as you try and picture what it's like living... Well, who knows? I mean, that, what you saw there of me going to gladiator school, there's some people today who are very enthusiastic about this. They're passionate about learning the, the training, the, the eight steps to using the gladius, the sword of the gladiators. What kind of gladiator would I be? I, I spent four or five hours training. It wasn't like months at a time. So I just, I, I probably wouldn't want to be a gladiator. I haven't spent any time training being a gladiator, but <laughs> right. I'm going to tell you, I would yeah. kick some butt yeah. as a gladiator. Okay. <laughs> I saw you jump over the chair. I'm ready, man. Josh, yeah. how do you, you know, differentiate your show from, there, there are a lot of others out there. We had Dave Salmoni on the show. Yeah. He's also on the Discovery Channel, Animal, Animal Planet. Planet. Um, but how, what is going to make your show different and stand out, aside from yourself as well? Right. Oh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> well, I don't compete with the other shows on Discovery or in the Discovery family. I think a lot of people... But like, for the viewer's like, eyes, you know, right. for, the, for the audience, because they're all captivated by all these shows, so yeah. how do you make yours different? Well, there isn't a show like this on TV right now. Digging for the Truth, my previous show, was similar in that we went traveling the world looking for great mysteries. But to have a hands-on, immersive experience where I do travel and then the viewer can come sort of along for the ride through me, with me. There isn't, there are no animals or no props. I'm not, there's a narrative thread, a central question, some burning issue that whether it is gladiators and what were they really like or could life on Earth have come from Mars, that investigative thread throughout the hour doesn't exist as far as I've who, who seen. Who comes up with the topics? Do you come up with some of them? The, the network we all comes do. up with yeah. some? The network, I do. The production company, Darla Smith's in it. How about business-wise? I noticed you got a Columbia brand on, branded I, shirt there. Yeah, I saw it on, on some, of the, yeah. some of the clips of the show. There's Columbia brand. Columbia is a sponsor. Are they a sponsor of the show? Are they sponsor, sponsor of, the show. of you yourself, too? They're a sponsor of the show. Uh, GM and, and uh, Columbia are both sponsors How, of the show. Do you have sponsors? Have you? No, I don't. I don't. But I think they make a great product. And if, you know, if we want to discuss that, we can. But for the first year, <laughs> they said we'll provide the clothing, and they made a deal with Discovery, and it worked out pretty well. Can we so see the, your, the print ads? I mean, your show definitely has the big educational theme running through it. But I mean, some of these shows as well, they like, you know, try to test the odds. Like, I'm going to go and wrestle an alligator. I'm going to go right. and swim with the sharks. And, yeah. you know, it seems a little like they try to hype it up and sensationalize. Well, hype, hype works. I think reality TV set a different standard for what makes a viewer watch. Sure, and then yeah. 
And then when people needed to get attention, well, what if I do something that's uh, ridiculous, outrageous, eat something disgusting, sub like oh, the effect of uh, Johnny Knoxville and, and uh, <laughs> was the show that he had? Yeah. Uh, uh, Jack. Uh, Jack. Yeah. Blank, okay. Well, yes. yeah. Jack, Jack Blank. Blank. Jack Blank. <laughs> no, people. There, that sets. A, but I'm trying to create. There's, I don't go into rivers, wrestling alligators, unless there's a real reason to. <laughs> There has to be a purpose. I, 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 I don't know it. what that reason could be. <laughs> I was about I to say, either. explain to me saying. at what point a man from America in yeah. Austin, Texas, actually has to wrestle exactly. an alligator. But if I'm rappelling or climbing or scuba diving, there's a reason, and ultimately it's on my quest. And if you're yeah. just swimming there and it comes and bugs you, well, of course, you're going to knock it out, right? Or swim away. Yeah. <laughs> Run! That's probably the smarter thing yeah. to do. Josh Bernstein, the show is uh, Into the Unknown, premiering tonight on the Discovery Channel. And I will check it out. I love cool. your prior show. I came to see this one. Appreciate We've got a whole lot more Happy Hour on tap right after this. Thanks, Josh. My pleasure.